everyone, back again. The next thing I'm going to install on this server is um, the virtual machine manager. So I can you know, run VMs on there and access them from here like I always have. So I'll rip into that. Okay, so I'm out here and I've put that um, server back up in the rack where it belongs. So for that, it's just sudo apt get install vert manager. And let's do it and take a little bit of space. And... Okay, now that's installed. Okay, so normally I just run vert manager here locally and it connects to the one remotely. But in order for that to work, you've got to have SSH keys set up to do it, to connect to the server via SSH without a password. So I need the key set up. So what I'm gonna to have to do is fix up this. So, so what I'll do is go to my SSH directory here and in my known host number 89, known hosts, uh, yeah, right here, which one's number 89? How many things do I SSH? So there's line 89. I'll just piss that off and connect to it again, see what happens. No, nope. 91 as well. Okay. I'll do that again. The uh, known hosts, with this time number 91, which is the last one on here. Okay, so now if I go server, okay, now it's still doing it with key number one because it was probably the first thing I SSH'd um, before. So, see if I can get rid of number one over there. We'll get there. Okay, now I can SSH it without a password because I did the SSH copy ID and put the key on there. Okay, so when I try to connect to it, it doesn't let me. Normally that would connect automatically before. But now it's saying, you know, verify libvert ddemons running on the remote host. Well, libvert d is indeed running on the remote host. And I have SSH connectivity to it without a problem. So what's the go? Now I just had a thought, this is connecting to one that would have had a different public key than it has now. So what I might do is just piss that off and add a new one. So file add a connection to KVM, yep, over SSH. Uh, ah, that's the problem. It uses the username root. So when you add a new connection, uh, add a connection, it wants to use the username root. So at the moment, I can't SSH with root to the server. It won't, it won't like any of this. So I've got to set that up. So what I'll do is I'll go to the server. There's my normal username. sudo bash to get into root, blah, blah, blah. Set a password for it, because I haven't done that yet. So I'll set a root password, okay. Now I still won't be able to SSH um, to that because in, in the SSH config, I'll have to be pseudo for this. sshd.config down here for, where is it? It's here. At the moment, there's no root login allowed. Now I can allow root login, but without a password. You don't want to use root with password. So that allows it. Okay, service ssh restart. But the thing is, I don't have my key on there. So what I'll do, ssh, my local key here, I want to get the uh, public key onto the server. So just as the normal user, all right, puts it in my home directory. So back on the server in my home directory, I have this ID RSA pub. So what I want to do with that is put it into the root directory. Um, so probably don't even have an SSH directory yet. So make the .ssh and move home spicy ID to .ssh um, authorized American spelling keys. Now that's half the job because permissions are wrong. It still says spicy spicy. So it has to be root root. So root root authorized keys. So now hopefully back here I can SSH it without a password. Done done to the root. So now if I run vert manager here no, and add my thing. As user root, no password required, connect up, boom, I'm connected. Okay, so now I can add a virtual machine to that KVM, because the first one just indicates KVM on this desktop here, but this one is for the, um, the one on the server, as you can see. At the moment, 
I've got four VMs just in one of those hard drives here, and you can see them there. Blah 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 blah. And the location they go is varlib libvert images. So if I go varlib libvert, how far can I get before it blocks me? Images. Yeah, okay. So sudo bash, just get in there. Images. Now I've got no images there, so, but I want to put the ones from my hard drive there. So um, mount storage virtual machines, all of them to there. So that'll take a little bit. I've got those four VMs to put onto the um, solid state drive there. Okay, so now I'll create a new VM. I could have just done, install it, install the previous disk image. Oh, look at that. There they are. So I'll start with Home Assistant. And does it want me to put? Yes, it does. I usually pick generic. I just can't be bothered picking anything else. Um, how much memory do I give these things? I'll give them two gig. One processor will do ya. And this was Home Assistant. So the network selection, I'm giving a bridge adapter. It's getting BR150. That's the reason I set up all those bridge interfaces for things like this. Uh, that should be right. Let's see how it goes. There we go. That's booting up. Off it goes. And I'll just add the rest. So same again. It's the existing disk image. This one will be my little web server, which is only for me internally here. And generic. Blah, blah, blah. That can just have one gig doing nothing. So web server. Network selection for this is bridge four. And off it goes. So now my LibreNMS is back in action. Of course, there's going to be a whole chunk of data missing, as it's pointed out here. It hasn't done a thing in the last five minutes or 15 minutes. So since whenever, early this morning when I shut it down, that's when everything kind of stopped, obviously. But that's back up and running now. So the virtual machines are alive. Okay, so that's done. As you see, I hit a bit of an error that, that stumped me a bit there, which was the authentication. But the way around it was I read what it was getting at and did packet captures. So like with any fault, logs and packet captures usually help you out and tell you what's going on. So I'm making a list of things to do as I do all this um, for tidy up at the end. But the VMs are up and running, which is good. My network shares are good. So that's, that's the basic sort of stuff to be operational around the house here. And I'll do the rest at some other point. So till then, take it easy.